Hello honeys, welcome and welcome again to this channel. If you're new here, my name is Ifa Katami and today we are having a conversation on self-love. I think I'll first start by defining what I understand by self-love and I would say self-love is um, protecting or guarding my mind, my soul and my body. And therefore in our conversation today, I'm actually just tackling four ways. So for me, I feel like uh, because I'm talking about self-love, I'll say prioritizing myself, that is giving myself preference over other things or other people, uh, putting myself first in each and everything that I do. I feel like that is self-love because uh, gone are those years, sorry to say, and also part or most part of the last year, I was this kind of a girl who would give preference to other people's affair, to other people's issues, to other people's needs, and I forgot my own need, you know, and I would say by doing that I felt like I was carrying a lot of weight because I have to help these people and I forgot myself and by doing that you, it makes me not grow, it makes me sort of lag behind because it's like I have forgotten myself and I've given preference to other, of which it's good to give preference, but the moment you put yourself first and then the rest follows, I think that that is better. Which brings me to point number two, is actually having a deeper connection or a deeper relationship with myself. I feel like the, the two points sort of relate. And me saying is like dating myself, getting to understand Sifa, getting to understand myself. What are these things that I love? What are these things that I hate? What are my weaknesses? What are my strengths? If someone, uh, in other words, spending time with me to fall in love with me again, because I feel like um, other times I was in a hurry to be friends with other people rather than being, friend, being my own friend. You know, and by doing that, you feel like, I feel like you get empty, you remain empty in a way, and you don't get, you, you actually, let me say, you don't come out being a productive person, because it's like, you have forgotten you, you have abandoned you. But the point I decided, hey, I'll be spending my time with myself, forfeiting all this other happy life, let me say, by going out, interacting with people, but rather just choosing to spend my weekends with me, choosing to spend 90% of my time with myself. I think it just awakens the inner me, me just getting to understand me and marvel at the same time, you know? Um, point number three that I talk of is ensuring that I'm cultivating a healthy environment for myself. And I know I would have wanted to talk about dieting and exercise but no i'm not going to talk about that i'm talking about me having a clean environment and for me having a clean environment comes with me having peace you know and peace comes with uh, if i talk about a healthy environment for me i lean it towards decluttering you know by the time i feel like our life can be jumbled up our life can be sort of like a pit because we've dumped a lot of things there by the moment we decide to declutter and just get things that we don't need and stay with what we have, I feel like we get out to be these vibrant people, noble people in the society. And I feel like that has been me, uh, just trying to declutter, ensuring that the environment I'm in, in terms of the people I surround myself with, are people that I'm able to grow, um, I'm able to have noble healthy conversations with uh surrounding myself with people who let me say are able to be let me say people who are real people who are not toxic and also ensuring them also not toxic on the other side and not only about people environment to me uh comes with also where or the locations that i'm i'm, I'm in okay making sure that where i live is peaceful it's a clean environment it's a place that helps me to grow um barely also uh, let me say i also speak on saying healthy environment also comes with what i expose myself to what i intend to have conversations on of with 
uh, what exposed my ears and eyes to. You know, it's, uh, it sounds simple, but I feel like it plays a major role to our well-being. To our well-being. And lastly, I will talk of being truthful to myself. Going to those days, I would say I would decide to compromise and this is best on responses that I give to people. Someone will run, hey, would you be here? Or I would love you to do this and this. And as much as I know I don't have room for that, I would just say yes. You know, just not to, let me say not to burn the bridge. But I feel I'm in a space where I become truthful to myself. If my I make making sure that my no is my no and my yes is my yes. Not saying or agreeing to something just because you're my friend, but rather agreeing or saying yes or saying no to something because I feel that is what is right to me. It might not be right to another person, but that is what I feel, you know, and not being apologetic about it. You know, because I feel like most times the moment we feel um, we feel responsible to give people their yeses or their noes to what they tell us, we lose ourselves and we lose our minds. And I feel like that is not self-love. That is not taking care of ourselves. So for me, I feel like whatever I've mentioned, I think that I've been actually working for me. I don't know about you. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how you define self-love. I don't know the way that you're doing to attain self-love so kindly. I would love to hear your responses from this conversation. I hope it was helpful. I hope it was insightful to you. We'll catch up later. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe to this channel. You can share this and leave a comment. We shall connect later. Bye.